What's up guys, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 video. In today's video we're going to be talking about new movement features and also some new gameplay features. So this is all a leak, this is coming from Ralph over on Twitter. He put out a tweet earlier today saying Modern Warfare 2 new movement and gameplay systems exclusive and he wrote an article about it. So we're going to go ahead and read it, you guys can follow along in the description. Modern Warfare 2 new gameplay and movement systems. It says with Modern Warfare 2's launch fast approaching some questions remain what strides are infinity war taking to make modern warfare 2 a fresh experience similar to its predecessor infinity war plans to refine its parkour system drawing inspiration from mirror's edge catalyst as well as with the introduction of all new features and mechanics here's the scoop with Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer map sticking to a more tight and hardline approach to level design, players will be able to meddle with these mechanics in Warzone 2, putting these new features to test in a larger, more variable playground, using the environment to your advantage. He says movement. First thing is ladders and ropes. With ladders, you'll be able to vertically position the equipment alongside walls, containers, and buildings, though if not supported, it will fall and shatter, causing the field upgrade to reset. For ropes, you'll be able to rappel down and scale up buildings with this tool. Whilst rappelling, players can also swing through windows or into collapsed walls. You can also attach the rope to vehicles and players, allowing for a quick getaway for downed players. Dude, this sounds actually so sick. Shifting and strafing. Strafing lets you move sideways in any direction as well as backwards. So you get too close to a threat or you turn a corner where you're at a disadvantage you can shift out of the area to clear some space and get a better view of your options and surroundings wall climb players will be able to vertically clamber up walls this feature is determined by the height of the platform you're trying to reach and mount how does that work wall climbing what ledge hanging you'll be able to hang off and grab onto ledges call of duty's newest mechanic that allows players to reach for impractical platforms also reduces fair fall damage Players will be able to use their sidearm whilst ledge hanging. Next up he says, sliding. Sliding has since been revised, allowing for players to now slide into a prone position as well as downed inclines and slopes. So it's not like, you know, slide canceling and stuff like that, it's a little bit changed. Next up is bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is dependent on the height a player falls from. The greater the height, the more speed boost you'll gain onto your bunny hop. That's kind of cool. Now he talks about gameplay features. Gameplay features. Exigency hip fire. Quick sidearm draw. A feature that allows you to quickly switch to your sidearm with one hand. This can be also done with lethals. Ooh. Suppressor meter. You can change the size of the suppressor and depending on its size it'll affect recoil, damage, and ranges. There will exist a meter that players will be able to mess with and find their balance. Next up is weapon handling or grips. An operator will have the option of choosing between a set of tactical handlings and techniques. This can affect the accuracy and speed of a weapon. Some examples include a magwell grip and a C-clamp grip. Next up is we have a magazine check animation. For modes with limited heads-up displays, you'll be able to inspect a weapon's magazine count. Dude, that's so sick. So like in hardcore modes, you'll be able to be like, oh, how much ammo do I still have left in my guts? Rather than reload, you know, you can actually like, oh, pull out your magazine and look and see, oh, okay, I still got plenty of ammo left in my mag. That's kind of cool. They have a reticle ammunition count. New design where reticles display a weapon's ammo count seen with revolvers and shotguns. These refined and renewed mechanics will give players a new learning curve that allow players to effectively interact with, practice, and master stringing together unfamiliar gameplay features. So that is his article right there. What? Um, honestly, dude, a lot of this stuff sounds pretty cool, and I'm curious how to, s to see how they stitch this all together into one cohesive, smooth gameplay experience, like ladders and ropes. I feel like with some of this stuff, I mean, it sounds like ladders and ropes, ledge hanging, even like bunny hopping a little bit. Some of this stuff sounds like it, it's going to be kind of like a hard stop, and it's going to kind of detract from gameplay. The best thing I could probably liken this to is to leaning. So like in Call of Duty Ghosts, it introduced leaning. So it's like, okay, you can go up to a wall and you can lean. And then, you know, we've had previous games, like even Modern Warfare, you know, you had leaning. But it was more of a pain in that game because they associated challenges with it. And so that's my thing is, you know, depending how these features are implemented, it could either speed up gameplay and make it more fast paced and more, you know, like energetic and go, go, go. Or it can really slow down the gameplay, just like leaning did. Leaning really slowed down gameplay. It was more of a tactical feature, but it was like, okay, you had to come to a full stop on a wall and then lean out and you're basically just waiting for an enemy player to walk by. 
where something maybe say like sliding where it says sliding you know you slide now down into a prone position that's probably something that you know it's going to be a little bit more aggressive of a play style you're still going to be able to push and do that or bunny hopping something like that but uh, I don't know, it'll be interesting. Ledge hanging, it's like, yeah, you're about to hang off a ledge and you'll be able to use your sidearm. But I'm like, that's gonna slow down gameplay, right? So I don't know, it's uh, it's all just a leak currently, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of cool though. I mean, it sounds, sounds great in theory, but like I said, we're just gonna wait and see what actually happens in game and how this all plays. Cause like I said, it could either speed up gameplay or it could slow it down dramatically and you know, depending how it works, I mean, it could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. So I also think it really depends on how they, you know, do weapon camos. Are there going to be weapon camos tied to this? I think that is a key factor in this decision here, whether or not these will be a good things or not. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. What do you guys think about this? I mean, what do you guys think about all the the gameplay features and stuff about ammunition, animations and stuff, the attachments? It sounds pretty crazy. Like there's a lot of stuff going on here. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it sounds like a very good continuation of Gunsmith, as well as really being able to dial in your weapons to how you want it, and how it affects your playstyle exactly. So, hopefully this means that, you know, not everybody's gonna be running the exact same guns all the freaking time. But, uh, I mean, who am I kidding? It's, uh, I guarantee that's what's gonna happen. You know, YouTubers are gonna post videos, oh, this is the best gun ever! And then everybody and their dog is gonna run that exact same setup forever and always, until the next best gun comes out, so... Yep, one can hope, but uh, that's it, guys. That is um, Ralph's newest article. That is his newest leak. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Kind of cool stuff, but uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.